Hello everyone and welcome to the Qubit Simulation 737-800 Project Dev Update. Today we will be covering the progress that has been done on the project for the last few months. In this video we will be covering model progress and texture progress. So without further ado, let's start with the video. Ok, let's start with the renders. First of all, we are going to see some renders about the external model and some renders about the internal model. In this render we can clearly see the progress that we've done on the fuselage as well as on the eyebrows. We can also see that on the nose uh, there are some rivets installed. These are geo decals or geometrical decals and these are done with mesh. Uh, we've been we've been invested quite a lot of time in this part specifically uh, because it's quite complex to get right. The next screenshot that we can see, it's just a wingtip. Uh, here we can see the blended ones, but we have planned to we plan to introduce uh, also the similar winglets and the no winglets variant. Though uh, the wing the no winglets variant will be delayed and will not be uh, available for release. In the next render, we can see the nose landing gear and some parts of of the fuselage. We can see that the landing gear is not yet rendered, but the model is finished as well as the landing gear bay. Uh, we also plan to add a little bit more of detail, but the base is there. You can also clearly see some t uh, texture work uh, done by uh, Rod Thumb, who has been working on some, uh, on some effects. The next render we can see is the engine. We've completely reworked the texture from the, lights, from the last time you've seen them, uh, and they are quite more complex. Yeah, we've done them more accurate, as well as the uh, nozzle itself. On the next render we can clearly see the main landing gear. We've added some very small details, but uh, we still need to do a lot of work on this part, so I don't want to focus especially on this render. Moving on, the next render is quite interesting, because we've managed to do the most detailed model of a landing gear bay that has ever been done for a, for a simulator. As you can see, there's a lot of details inside there, and we plan to add even more. Moving on from the external model, we are going to go into the cockpit itself. On the first render, we can clearly see the progress on the seat. You can see that we've added some real fur. This is not a texture, this is actual mesh. We still need to see how it performs in-game, but we hope that it looks okay, as this would be a nice addition. You can also see on this render the nice texture work that we've done on the MCP. You can see that there are some grunges and some clearly damage uh, done to it. But we will see it on greater detail on the next renders. On the next render we can see a down top render of the window on the MCP. If we focus on the MCP we can see that it has a, a leather like uh, texture. This is accurate to the real aircraft. You can also see that there is some wear and tear on the MCP as we've mentioned before. Uh, this is to add more realism to the to the textures. Uh, moving on to the window, you can see that there are some really fine details on the window handle and uh, on the top part. Uh, this is accurate to the real aircraft and this wear and tear is model accurate. Be aware that these textures will change in the future as we will want as we will add even more details. On the next render we can see a more clear view of the MCP. You can see there again what I said about the um, leather-like material and the sponge that is under it. The next render is just to show you what I've said about the wear hunter. This is just to showcase the details that we have added. On this render we can see the magnetic compass deviation card. Now we are going to see some in-game pictures of the model. That's it for today, I hope you have enjoyed and we'll see you on Tuesday, bye bye!